Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder channel. Welcome to another short video. Before I start this video, by the way, you may have noticed some of you regular viewers, our new sign here, Skill Builder sign, lovingly crafted by Daniel Cox of Essential Carpenter Square. So very nice of you, Dan. Thanks very much. We didn't ask him for it. He just presented it to me. All in the colors, all routed out beautifully. So that's lovely. Anybody else want to send us anything to put on our boards? Hopefully it'll be up to that standard. Anyway, the subject I want to cover this week is um, basically this. What happened to me over the Easter bank holiday weekend that caused me to end up spending the entire afternoon in the A&E department and uh, broke my thumb and ended up with five stitches in it. Not nice. Two and a half hours with my hand on top of my head wrapped in an old tea towel to stop the bleeding and it worked. Anyway, this was the cause of the accident and you might think, oh dear, oh dear. I've got to tell you, that I didn't even have a blade in it. I lent this sword to somebody, I won't say who, and when I got it back, I couldn't get the blade to go in for some strange reason. I put a squirt of WD-40 in the blade holder and uh, I thought that might help it, but it didn't do the trick. So I then proceeded to try and shake it out and thinking there might just be a small amount of the old blade stuck in there. Maybe it snapped when they were using it and they left a bit in there. I don't know, anyway, it, I couldn't get it in. So. I started messing around and um, what I did, stupidly, I always say that the most important bit of PPE you own is your brain. If you engage your brain, you could avoid an awful lot of accidents. And unfortunately, in this particular case, I didn't engage my brain. Call it old age, call it fatigue, whatever you like. But uh, I did the most stupid thing imaginable. At this point, I'd like to introduce you to my stunt double, a nice fat Lincolnshire sausage. And that's going to take the place of my thumb, hopefully to avoid repeating live on air what happened to me. So let me go to close up. So as I put my thumb in there, <coughs> oh dear, that's more or less what happened. I won't be eating that now. <laughs> so. I took one look at my poor old thumb and I could see that it was in a pretty bad way and that it would need stitches. So wrapped it up in a tea towel and my wife drove me to hospital. What they said to me actually was quite interesting. They said that because it was a fracture, I didn't think it was broken, but the, the nurse very astutely said to me, I'm going to send you down for an x-ray because it could be broken there because it's quite a bit of impact. When you look at this thing, by the way, When you look at it, it's hammering against that thing very, very hard and very, very quick. And anything that's between that, anything, excuse me, I'm nervous of this thing now. Anything that's between there and that shoe, there's nowhere else for it to go other than through the shoe, which is what it did. And without wishing to go into too many details, what they said was that because it was an open fracture, because it was fractured and it was also cut, there is a very real chance of infection getting into the, the bone. So they were gonna send me down to East Grinstead Hospital, which are the specialists and all that kind of thing. They're very famous for doing uh, plastic surgery, cosmetic surgery, burns victims, all that kind of thing, all end up at East Grinstead. And um, they were gonna send me down there, but they sent some photographs down to East Grinstead. The people at East Grinstead had a look at it and they went, do you know what, we think it's okay, wrap it up, make sure he doesn't get any infection in it and uh, I've got to keep it clean. It doesn't look very clean there, does it? But I just keep wrapping a new bandage around there. So long as I don't get it wet, it'll be fine. And um, I've got another week of messing around like that before I can have the stitches taken out. But it could have been a lot worse, couldn't it? I could have had the blade in there and done something stupid, but I think I was lulled into a full sense of security because you think, oh, well, there's no blade in there. What could possibly go wrong? There's a salutary lesson for us all. It can happen to anybody at any time. All accidents are stupid. You kick yourself afterwards. You think, why didn't I see that coming? Anyway, I'm Roger Bisbee. Stay safe and uh, don't do what I did and join the statistics of all those many, many people who were injured over bank holiday. It always happens, and um, quite honestly, our National Health Service doesn't need idiots like me, does it?